In today's health alert, officials want people to be careful amid a rise in the number of stomach bug cases that are resistant to antibiotics. ABC's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, is here to talk much more about this. Okay, so walk us through this and how big is a spike? Okay, so we're talking about a gram-negative bacteria known as Shigella. Mm -hmm. causes just under about half a million cases of a dreaded, very unpleasant gastrointestinal illness in this country every year. You can get it from contaminated food. You can get it from changing a diaper and not mm -hmm. washing your hands. You can get it from sexual contact. Now the CDC is putting out an alert that about 5% of the cases, which represents a, a very sharp increase of this type of bacterial infection, now resistant to the antibiotics in our toolbox. We've talked about antibiotic resistance before many, many times. Mm -hmm. When you have an infection, a serious one, and need antibiotics, and we run out of antibiotics that work, we're in trouble and they're seeing a spike for this particular organism. It, it, do we have options if I can't use antibiotics? What, what else uh, can listen, I do? Just tough it out? There are, you know, we have a lot of different antibiotics mm -hmm. because there are a lot of different bacteria. So we've run out of options when we test an organism and find that it's really resistant to everything we have in our arsenal. So how do you prevent it? One, you wash your hands, mm -hmm. that, try to reduce your risk of getting Shigella. But for all of us, the way we reduce the chances of antibiotic resistance are taking antibiotics properly, which means not for a virus, only for a bacterial infection, only when properly prescribed, and finishing the entire course of the antibiotics, even if you feel better, we can all do our part to make sure this doesn't become as much of a problem as it has been in the past. Is this the, this is the stomach flu that's been kind of going around and like lingering. It's right? a bacterial form of the stomach flu, but there's also a viral form, several d different types of GI viruses. Mm -hmm. They're all unpleasant, I wanna be very clear. Yeah. The good news with this is that most cases do go away on, its own, on their own, um, but the CDC kind of increasing awareness that certain groups of people more vulnerable the young men who have sex with men right. are, are more vulnerable to this resistant type of bacteria. Um, so there are a lot of different pieces to this headline, all of them important. I, I want to just go back to one last thing, and that was you talked about prevention when I asked you about what I do. If, I'm, if I take an antibiotic, it's not working. I really, is it really come down to I have no choice and just going to tough it out? Well, no, potentially with people who are seriously ill with Shigella, if they're hospitalized, you know, we have to treat them with something. They're right. that sick. For the vast majority of people, the good news, David, is this will go away on its own okay. without needing antibiotics. But again, antibiotic resistance here is the story behind that. Right, headline. it's a bigger story. Cannot uh, underestimate the importance of washing hands. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Correct. <Thank you. laughs>